Hello and welcome back. With constant coronavirus news and videos on the internet, I think it's important we take a step back and watch something that's a little bit more positive and so that next time you're at a social event, you sound smarter than everyone in the room. And that's what really matters, right? With that being said, we're going to look at some common misconceptions and some of my favorites. Enjoy. Let's start off with Mount Everest. Many people know Mount Everest as the tallest mountain in the world. However, that's not really true. While Mount Everest has the highest summit when you measure it from sea level, the tallest mountain when you measure it from its actual base to summit is Mauna Kea. In other words, Mount Everest does have a higher point than Mauna Kea, but that's mostly because Mauna Kea is mostly underwater as compared to Mount Everest, which is in fact on land. So you can kind of say that Mount Everest has a land advantage. Moving on from insanely large rocks, you guys have probably seen dozens of Vikings in the media with their horned helmets. However, there actually hasn't been any real evidence suggesting that Vikings actually had horns on their helmets. In fact, the only Viking helmet we've ever found was round with no horns. This helmet we found in Norway dates back to the 10th century and funny enough was found along with two other men of which one of them is believed to be a petty king. Now likely we all believe Vikings had horns was because of artists from the 1800s like Gustav Maelstrom who depicted them wearing horns. Switching things up a little, many of us have seen depictions of the Bible and more specifically depictions of the forbidden fruit in the Bible being classified as an apple. However, there isn't a single phrase in the Bible that's mentioned the forbidden fruit being an apple. Instead, it's referred to as the fruits. The exact line is and the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. So why the confusion? Well, it all comes down to translation, really. You see, when the Bible was translated from Hebrew to Latin in the 4th century by St. Jerome, he used Latin spoken by mostly the common people, and he used the word malice, which, funny enough, means evil and apple. History is funny, huh? Next misconception is one of my favorites since my parents are Hispanic and I grew up hearing this every so often. Vitamin C cures the common cold and the flu and prevents them. Man, even my friends still believe this. For the average Joe, taking more vitamin C than you get from a regular balanced diet won't really cure a cold or really prevent one. The misconception grew from some earlier studies which have pointed out that taking excess vitamin C helps reduce the symptoms of a cold. However, the reduction was very minimal, in fact, half a day less for most adults, and these adults were very athletic. Now here's the thing, there's actual dangers with taking excessive vitamin C supplements. For men, it could increase the risk of kidney stone, and those who suffer from hemochromatosis or iron overload disorder, vitamin C helps the blood absorb iron even more, which those who suffer from hemochromatosis leads to all these symptoms. By the way, vitamin C isn't the only vitamins that bring danger when taking excess. In fact, many vitamin supplements have dangers, so if you're a person that takes a lot of vitamins, I recommend looking up the dangers so you know the risks. Now lastly, a misconception you may hear all the time is that coffee dehydrates you and that every single time you drink coffee, you should drink a cup of water. I'm here to tell you that your mom is actually wrong about this. Don't worry moms, you're still right about a lot of stuff especially about how much your son or daughter uses their phone and uses social media. Now, even though caffeine is a mild diuretic, which means it releases sodium and water from your body, you intake fluids besides caffeine when you drink coffee. In fact, you intake way more fluids than caffeine, which means caffeine won't dehydrate you. In fact, it will likely hydrate you. The same thing applies to tea, by the way. So there you have it, guys. Some common and my personal favorite misconceptions which one have been misleading you this whole time? Hopefully, this video helped you gain the knowledge you need to defeat and destroy your friends at the game of who's the smartest ass in the room. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, found it entertaining, or you learned something, please help my channel grow by hitting a like and subscribing for more. Normally, I suggest you to show it to some friends, but I know you don't want to give up your knowledge secrets, so it's okay. I'll forgive you for this one, and see you next time.